some of the most biggest important moments is when I've been around truly, truly brilliant people who have told me, who have said things that, and I, my mouth has dropped and, and, and it just strongly influenced me and certainly that moment, and then there were others with William Thurston, uh, he was one, he was one and maybe the most, most brilliant person I've ever met in my life. And most, it's certainly mathematics. So it's a combination or, uh, among uh, several different fields of mathematics. Um, one of them is the field of dynamical systems. Um, and another is, it's related to the field of of geometry and also um, what is called low dimensional topology and Riemann surface theory which is part of complex analysis. So for example this um, program here where the official title I think is, is translation surfaces that's a subject that I've worked in for quite a long time and it's a combination of those different fields uh, dynamical systems complex analysis, um, to low dimensional topology, algebraic geometry, which I don't do, but has is, is become a, uh, a major part of this subject. Um, I guess I certainly uh, realized that, I mean, that I was, it was, I was better, I, I enjoyed it as a young person, and I had some talent for it, um, and it's also maybe it's part of my family upbringing that um, uh, my father was a professor and uh, my mother was a teacher and somehow I thought that's, the, that's what you do when you grow up is you become a professor. I, I didn't, I, you know, it, it's, it, it, I just somehow thought, that, oh, that's what I'm going to do what my father did. And it, partly because it, you know, he seemed to, you know, enjoy it and the family, you know, enjoyed all of those things. So th that led me to study it in college and then in, you know, decide to go to graduate school. Um, but I, I enjoy the subject a great deal and it was somehow, I was naturally brought into it, I think, as, as sort of a subject. It, what I, I, I'm not 100% sure. I, um, there, I think when I was a, a child, I mean, it was quite a long time ago, so I don't quite remember, but um, there's um, a famous thing in mathematics called Pascal's Triangle, and um, I think I was intrigued by that as a, uh, maybe as a, 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 a child. Uh, don't remember how old. I, one, the one thing that I do remember very strongly is that when I was in high school, so this was older, I was 16, I think, there was a, uh, a summer program that was run by, it was in the state of Oregon in the U.S., and, and it was, um, so they took high school students for the summer to study mathematics uh, as a group, and it was, if I remember correctly, the subject was number theory, which I don't do, but somehow uh, I was around other young people um, who enjoyed mathematics that I enjoyed talking to about math. And I said, oh, this is something that is enjoyable. And uh, so I think that was, I look back at that as the time that I thought, yes, I think I want to study mathematics in college. And, you know, that I think was a fairly defining moment. It wasn't a, a specific mathematical thing that I saw, but it was an experience that led me to believe that this could be not only intellectually um, worth doing, but also that socially, that uh, uh, I could enjoy being with other people who, who were, were like me. I think certainly when I was in college, um, 
I, 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 mathematics, it, it, um, it struck me as something that was intellectually good for me. And I have one moment, and maybe, is I was taking a physics class, and it was a, an a, a um, what do you call it, an honors physics class, and the professor who was a professor of physics, he talked about something called a Fourier series, and he said, you form the Fourier series, and it was equal to the function. And I raised my hand, and I said, why? And he said, because it just is. And I wasn't satisfied with that as an answer, and I remember then doing some, talking to some mathematicians and who, who said that, you know, there are conditions that you need for the statement to be true. And so it uh, appealed to me, and this is something that I like about mathematics a great deal, that either you're 100% right or you're 100% wrong and there's no, uh, oh, well, maybe, um, you know, and, and so that you're, maybe you're asked a question and either you can answer it or you can't. And, and it's okay not to be able to answer it, but that it was that, that everything has a, um, uh, you know, it's, it's either correct or it's not. It, and I like that. I like that intellectually um, that, you, you know, people, I mean, people do make mistakes, but, but basically, you know, things are established and other people don't come along and say, oh, well, it's, you know, you, you, so that was sort of a maybe a kind of a eureka moment when I thought maybe mathematics was, was right for me when I um, um, felt that I really wanted to know the reason why something was true, that it was, you know, that, that that was so important to me to know why it was true. Um, I, I, I remember um, I was working on a problem that um, I was working on a problem of kind of a famous problem as a graduate student, and I couldn't do it. And I and and and, and being a graduate student is not necessarily a wonderful experience because you don't know whether you really are sure that you have a. And then my thesis advisor said, okay, here's another problem. And then I solved that in 24 hours and he said, okay, but he didn't think that was really in him. And then he gave me another problem and there I was able to talk to some more senior people and that one became, was a, a, a good problem and I was able to solve it and um, that made me very, very happy that that was, uh, at that moment, I sort of felt I, I could be a successful mathematician when I was able to solve, you know, a problem that maybe other people had not been able to do, that people, other people had thought about, and I was able to do it. So that was, maybe that was a eureka moment for me when I was able to, um, because my first, um, experience was in some sense negative. I worked hard on a problem and was not able to do it and then it was only several years later when some more technology or more ideas were available in mathematics that somebody else solved it and in fact my attempt at the way I was trying to do it nobody has been able to do the that problem with that. It just doesn't so it was it it, it Anyway, it was a, it was a, um, at first it was sort of stressful that I was not, and then, and then when I was able to do, solve the, pro, a, 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 a good problem, that was a, a eureka moment for me, I guess. Um, yes, it's gratifying um, that this conference, I've been at CIRM here I think this is my fourth or fifth, maybe my fifth visit here. Certainly, I think this is the most people that I've ever in, been here, and there are many young people, and it is, it is the case somehow that maybe 25 years ago when I was working in the subject, there were not so many people, 
and now there's just a large number of, of, of young people and then people who are uh, maybe 20 years after their, I mean, I think of them as young, maybe they don't think of themselves as young, who are very actively involved. And yes, that is very gratifying to me that uh, the subject has expanded and with so many people involved in it. Yes, absolutely. So one of the things that I was just even talking about with some of my you know, the colleagues here, um, before we had the conference, there was a, I don't know whether you call it a workshop, but it, 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 I think at the University of Mount State, but it was certainly connected with, that I, together with um, two or three other people, including Pascal Hubert, uh, he gave a series of lectures, I gave a series of lectures, um, Alex Eskin, who I, maybe you will talk, I, yeah, he gave a series, there were three or four of us, and there were maybe 15 or 20 students who were graduate students, and they have become um, big, you know, very good people in the subject, and, 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 there, and, and in fact it had a we were talking about who was part of the, these, this workshop and of the, the graduate students, and there were some like 10 or 12 or so names, who were people who were there who have become prominent in the field, and that actually feels wonderful because you normally, maybe there are one or two people or something, but there was a whole group, and, and so I felt very good about that. And, and then the next week we came up here and and in fact, as, as, as people have pointed out to me, it was the first conference in the subject of this translation surfaces was in 2003. And um, I mean, there have been a number around the world since then, but this was really the first one. And, um, and yes, yeah, so I, um, I remember you know, that quite well, that conference, and it was uh, certainly an important, uh, I think, an important moment for the subject uh, because of people got together. I remember um, that extremely well. Um, it was, a, a, again, it was sort of the first conference and um, there were examples of a certain, examples in mathematics and um, Hubbard felt, so there was a mathematician, and I can maybe give a different eureka moment actually, um, there was a, a mathematician at Princeton, um, maybe when you, I, I haven't looked, did not look at your interview with Hubbard, but his name was Bill Thurston, and uh, in some ways I think he was the greatest mathematician I've ever been in, involved with in my life, and he, among other things, came up with some examples of things that were important for this subject, and John Hubbard didn't think that, didn't feel that, that, that the Thurston examples had been presented, and so after dinner, after the Bouillabaisse um, um, dinner, uh, he had a great deal of wine. I had a great deal of wine and everybody, and he gave a lecture on what Thurston had done, and I think g given how much wine we had consumed, it was an absolutely brilliant lecture. And it, um, uh, you know, then we called it the Bouillabaisse. And I had forgotten that uh, until um, I, I saw your questions and then I talked to Pascal about it, and uh, of course he remembered as well. I got my PhD in 1974 and um, I, at the University of Minnesota in the United States and then I w had this postdoctoral position at Harvard and, and Hubbard, John Hubbard was there. And at the time, just as a new PhD, um, I was sort of narrow in my uh, mathematical, I mean I had done this PhD dissertation which Fortunately, very fortunately for me, got, got me this position at Harvard, but 
in retrospect, I sort of didn't know very much. I, I, I re- well, I also knew at the time I didn't know very much. And, and, and John and I started working on something that was kind of related to what my PhD dissertation. And it was sort of very classical, complex analysis, Riemann surface theory. And okay, it was interesting, but would not have been terribly groundbreaking in any way. And then I remember it was either 1975 or 1976, there was a notice of this mathematician named William Thurston. He was giving a lecture at MIT, Math- yeah, Massachusetts Institute. And John and I went, and Thurston, in his lecture, opened up a whole world to me um, of mathematics that I just had no idea. Uh, it Partly he opened up the world of dynamical systems, which I knew nothing about. I mean, I really, as a graduate student, I knew nothing about this. And, and he opened up new, a new world of, in this low-dimensional topology that I knew nothing about. And John Hubbard and I, after the lecture, I remember this very distinctly, we b- much broadened our point of view of what we were trying to do to incorporate many of the ideas that Bill Thurston had introduced us to in that lecture. It was just one lecture, just opened up her, and, and, then, and then that really broadened our outlook on what we should, could be looking at, and, 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 and then our paper, our, our pa- paper that we wrote, um, was much broader and I think much more interesting to people as the years went on than it would have been if I hadn't gone to that lecture. So that was a kind of, that was uh, a eureka moment in a way. I mean, I, in, in, in my kind of long experience in, or you know, long time in mathematics, some of the most uh, biggest important moments is when I've been around truly, truly brilliant people who have told me, who have said things that, and I, my mouth has dropped and, and, and it just strongly influenced me and certainly that moment, and then there were others with William Thurston, uh, he was one, he was one and maybe the most, most brilliant person I've ever met in my life, uh, and most, it's certainly in mathematics. Well, so first of all, it was, it was um, I guess, organized by Pascal and Anton Zorich, and I was incredibly honored that they would have this um, conference kind of in my honor, and um, certainly it was about the best week I've ever spent in my life was here. Um, I was also honored that um, so many really brilliant mathematicians came. Uh, Mar- Maria Mazzurkani, who I knew quite well, uh, Jean-Christophe Yocos, uh, well, Alex Eskin, who was a, a collaborator of mine, um, Kurt McMullen, who uh, I know you've interviewed, who had won the Fields Medal, uh, came. Um, I think there were um, I, th- I don't remember, but I think um, Avila was here. I'm not 100% sure. Artur Avila, who, a brilliant mathematician. Uh, I, I can't 100% remember, but it was, there was a really wonderful group of mathematicians here, and, um, and certainly I, the, my, uh, um, my PhD students came, and they were, um, you know, extremely nice to me. Uh, everybody was, uh, it was just a, a memory, yeah, a wonderful, wonderful experience. I mean, it, it already had the feeling, I mean, it was somehow, let's say, compared to 2000, I mean, I felt that some wonderful mathematicians had entered the field. So Mariam Merzakani for sure. I forget when she got her PhD, 2005 maybe or three or I, I don't remember whether she. I don't think she was here in 2003. 
Um, but she already a, such a great mathematician and uh, um, and you know and Jean Christophe uh, Yokoz. It, it was all and I I think of it that in some ways this field starting it didn't. I mean, 2003 was the first international or first meeting in the subject. There were a number of people who worked in the subject uh, before that. Um, uh, some, uh, a, a man named Bill Veach, uh, who much of, you know, a lot of the subject is named after him. Um, John Smiley, who's here at the conference, and, and me. And, but it somehow didn't catch on, I thought, you know when you you know your your questions led me to think about when did when did the subject break out into and i think it was in kind of right around the turn of the century the late 90s early 2000s when um i mean i think when kurt mcmullen entered the subject and um helped revolutionize it to a large extent uh, certainly alex eskin entered the subject, um, I think, nine, 1998. Um, Kurt McMullen was a couple years later, uh, and then Mariam. And, so, and I think it sort of took off, in a sense, around the turn of the century, around 2000, that kind of thing. And, and so it makes sense now to think that, oh yeah, 2003, I mean, you need some time to organize things and that. But then by 2009, it, it just had even expanded even more. Um, I think Andre Okunkov was here in 2009 who won the field, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, it, it, that meeting, the fact, and then it, I, I must say it, it wasn't only translation surfaces because I had done some other work that I had been very happy with. Uh, and so I asked Anton and uh, Pascal, and they also invited um, some people somewhat different, and maybe in what you might call the low-dimensional topology, a collaborator of mine named Yair Minsky, um, and another one named Jeff Brock um, came, some low-dimensional topologists who are really, really good, wonderful mathematicians were here. So it was, a, I think, a fairly broad, in 2009, um, a, a, a fairly broad conference with people from very kind of different, somewhat different fields got together. So yeah, it was uh, certainly memorable for me. And then since then, I mean, since 2003, there have been conferences at Obervolfach in, in Germany. Um, there have been one or two programs at the Math Science Research Institute in Berkeley, California. Um, we've had meetings in Chicago, where I am, and, and so, this, yeah, the subject has, um, has, I think, a lot of appeal to, to a lot of people. So I, 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 I'm, um, I, well, I didn't, I only found out that Pascal, this was just uh, not very long ago that he became director, and I thought he's a wonderful person to be director. I have a lot of admiration for him. I've, uh, I, I've worked with him. We, we wrote uh, two papers together I went, uh, with, a, with a joint, another joint. I had actually visited Marseille to work with him, one, I think a couple of times, and so I have a lot of admiration for him, and I think he's, you know, will do and has done a very good job here. Um, uh, Yes, I mean for me, um, it's wonderful to come here. I, I've, uh, I, so I think that 2003, 2009, I think there, were, there was a meeting in 2015. I don't remember so well. Now 2022, and then I came one other time when a um, um, uh, a friend or a collaborator named Steve Kirkhoff had a. Uh, kind of a birthday celebration here. I forget when that was, maybe 2011 or 12. So this is maybe my fifth time here, and, and it's certainly uh, wonderful to be here. It's, it's, it's maybe you, you, CIRM has, you, 
people want to come here. It's it's uh, to to a con it, it, you know because they know I think other people are going to be here, and it's the south of France, and who doesn't like that? And there you know so to my mind there are yeah I mean it, it's it's uh, I, I like Surma a great deal. <laughs>